Welcome to another episode in the how-to series for TELUS Business Connect for call groups. I'm going to go over the settings to set up a call group or a queue for basic call center applications. First, we'll jump into the phone system and go to phone system programming. Under groups, we'll add a brand new group. And we'll call this one a call queue. First off, there's a couple of parameters that we have to specify. First is the extension number. We'll make this one a press 2 or extension 2. Uh, it'll be accessible from our uh, auto attendant greeting. And we'll call this one service group. We'll add a couple of members to this group. And we'll just randomly grab some people here. Okay. And that's it, service group is now established and it can actually receive calls by dialing extension two. Now parameters inside the service group uh, or call queue, uh, we'll start with call queue info. Here you can change or modify the extension number and name. Uh, and I'll tell you why the name is important in a second. Uh, the extension number can be any, any digit, uh, single digit up to five digits. Um, we're gonna select two, so it's uh, press two from our auto attendant greeting and um, the record call queue name is the next item. Uh, this is relates to the service group name. Um, first off, when uh, the name is, is pronounced inside the system, it will use whatever is specified as the, uh, as the group name itself. You can record that group name using the uh, three options uh, as previously specified in other videos. You can record over the phone, use a USB microphone, or if it's professionally recorded, can be imported by a WAV or an MP3 file. Uh, we'll just use the uh, standard uh, text-to-speech to start with and uh, get that out of the way. Uh, the next thing is uh, call queue hours. We can specify where those calls route or how they route inside the system depending on what uh, what time of day it is and what region. Um, we're going to say that this call queue is open, say, from 8 a.m. till 7 p.m. And we'll copy those hours to the rest of the week and we'll save those. Now you can also modify the call queue members that we originally added. So later down the road, if you want to add somebody to that call group, you can add somebody in or you can pull them out either way. Um, so we'll leave it at four for this, uh, for this demonstration. Uh, and regional settings, which affects your call queue hours. Uh, this sets up the time zone for the particular users that are in there and uh, what that timing is, uh, is, is responsible for, or what, uh, what area, what time zone uh, it's being used in. So we're setting up for Pacific time in this case. You can also change your user language. So any of the prompts that are uh, uh, played back to callers calling in will be in uh, English or French, whatever you select. And we'll save that. Now that's the overall settings for call queue info. Now the next item is direct numbers. I don't have any direct numbers pointed to this group yet. Um, I'll specify that in another, uh, another video on call routing. Uh, we'll go into greetings. The greeting is the initial message that's played to callers when they uh, when they reach extension two. Uh, by default, it's again text to speech. Thank you for calling the service group. Please wait while we connect you to the next available agent. Now this can be recorded again um, professionally through uh, through an import. Um, you could use your computer microphone or again over the phone uh, can be recorded. For this demonstration, I'll use the default greeting. And so we'll just save that. Uh, you also have the option inside greeting to block calls. Um, if there's callers or area codes or specific phone numbers that you want to block, um, you can actually stop them from coming into the call queue by specifying the phone number and give it a name and set it up as a block. Right now, I'll just leave it open for everybody. Uh, the next option is going into call handling. Call handling allows you to route your calls uh, during your office hours that we've established above. And, uh, and of course, what we want to do with the calls after hours. There's also an advanced routing option. And uh, again, I'll go into that uh, in another video on routing. Uh, call queue hours allows us to select the routing method for, uh, for the calls into this particular queue. Rotating, because we have four members, uh, would make the calls go from user one to two to three to four to one to two to three to four uh, in a circular or rotating fashion. And this would balance the calls, so the calls coming in would be balanced among the, uh, the members that are in that queue. They'd all receive the same quantity of calls. If you want to set it to simultaneous, simultaneous will ring all of the users inside that group up to a maximum of 10 simultaneous calls um, or devices that we can ring uh, at one time. 
uh, and also fixed order is another option so you can make those calls hit that first agent first and the last patient the last agent last uh, this is typically used in a skills based or um, um, seniority case where you have your senior people answering the calls first or the bulk of the calls and your younger or um, uh, or less experienced or junior members uh, getting less of those calls. And you can move these users around depending on their skill level and skill sets to move them to essentially anywhere you want in what order. And for this, we will uh, set up as rotating to start with. You can also set your audio while connecting, and this will be the, uh, the audio that's heard while uh, the call is sitting in queue waiting to be answered. You can select the music from the, uh, uh, the canned music that's sitting in the system. You can, of course, select ringtones if you wish, or you, again, you can customize. Uh, I suggest using customized and having your music professionally recorded uh, with a custom uh, announcement inside them as well that can say, um, you know, weekly specials, monthly uh, promotions, whatever you require. Uh, and upload those. We'll, for now, we'll use the, uh, the canned music that's in the system. Uh, the interrupt audio can interrupt that music uh, or audio that's, um, that's set up for audio while connecting at a predetermined time. So you can have 30 seconds, 40 seconds, for example, I'll use 40 seconds. And that allows for a pre-recorded message, uh, and that can, again, can be customized the same way that every other message can be customized. Um, and we'll, we can pick one of, the, um, one of the audio options that are here. We'll say, thank you, wait for an agent. We'll save that. Now, hold music, you can select hold music on or off uh, to allow people um, to hear music on hold or commercial on hold. Again, you can select from the variety of, uh, of choices that are inside the, the canned music options, or you can set up a custom uh, music on hold option as well, uh, where you would put in your, uh, your WAV or your MP3 file as your commercial on hold. And this applies to all calls that are answered within the group uh, or routed through the group to the agents. And uh, the music on hold would apply to those calls. So I will set this as the standard music that's being played. Um, now, more into member availability and hold times. Now, the one important thing is the maximum time to wait for a call queue member before trying the next member. Uh, this will force the call to sit at a particular user uh, for a predetermined time before it's answered, before it moves to the next available agent. I'll set this for 45 seconds. Um, this is particular to, uh, to rotating and to uh, fixed order queues only. Uh, minimum post-call wrap-up time allows the agent to finish up paperwork, complete an order, uh, to finish up a uh, web entry, whatever it might be, and allows them a little breathing time before they get the next phone call coming in from that particular queue. And we'll set that for 15 seconds. Uh, the next two options, you have the maximum hold time to wait for a queue member. And this is the maximum time the call sits in the queue before it reaches the disposition, which is the final answer point. And I'll set this for five minutes. And then if the callers reach uh, a certain quantity, we can also send that to the dis disposition as well, and we'll set that to a maximum of 25 calls. Now, what happens when you hit five minutes or 25 calls? We can send callers to voicemail, and we'll save that. And that goes into the next option, which is the voicemail box for this particular group. Uh, again, you can have different night and day times if you wish, and the voicemail greeting can be a customized as well. Uh, the default, of course, is all of our agents are busy helping other customers at the tone. Please record your message. When you're finished recording, you may hang up or press pound for more options. Um, this is usually sufficient, but again, you can customize it by the same three methods. Once that message is, uh, is recorded, um, you can have that in the system. And the more important thing is the message recipient. You would typically set this for your manager of this particular mailbox, and I'll just select myself as the manager. So any messages that are left will be forwarded automatically to, uh, uh, to my mailbox, even though it's going to play the greeting for the, uh, for the service group itself. Um, now, in addition to um, uh, in additions, uh, we have Premium Plus, which allows for voicemail preview. This will also attach the text-to-speech option, uh, which will convert, or sorry, speech to text. It will convert that voicemail to a text format and email it to, uh, uh, to that user that's receiving those messages. Also, notifications can be set to include uh, the voicemail or faxes to this particular group if, uh, if the group is receiving faxes uh, by email. 
and you can put more than one email address in here as well. You can separate them by comma or a semicolon, and you can put a second user in here, for example. And I'll just put in user. Make your changes and hit save.